We're starting to see kind of new view. Oh, we're grinding. No. <laughs> what the hell was that? Do I get bonus points for that? Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Neil and welcome back to some more Burnout Paradise. Now in the last episode, we actually got about halfway to our next upgrade in our license and uh, yeah, so I think we have five more to do. Now I'm gonna take this opportunity just since I just kind of stumbled upon it uh, to do the burning root for the old uh, reliable custom and that should give us an upgraded version of this car and hopefully we can actually wreck some bitches in road rage after we after we get this if we get this it looks like it's pretty much a straight line all the way there so it shouldn't be too hard to get there only this thing is a little bit slow so that may, might make it a little bit more difficult but I I'm not really worried at all so let's actually just fill up our boost while we're here there we go hell yeah oh shit okay so this thing doesn't turn too good I must say but it is pretty pretty tough so I don't think we're gonna have any trouble at all getting to the checkpoint oh there we go I think that might actually be the only turn in this entire race to be completely on oh, there might be like one or two but yeah I'm kind of I don't think I've ever got the uh, special edition of this car because basically if you don't know how it works uh, basically every single car has a burning route and if you complete the burning route you basically get an updated version of that or an upgraded version of that car so I'm kind of curious to see what that's gonna look like on this car holy shit am I going the right way I guess I am oh my god oh I think we're gonna right should I take the shortcut fuck it we're taking the shortcut here we go oh shit okay yeah that helped us immensely we're gonna get there like a minute early that's pretty good I must say especially with this old slow piece of shit but yeah there we go okay so we now officially I have the upgraded version. I'm kind of curious what it looks like. I wonder if they actually fixed the paint on it. Because, yeah, that's one of the, the glaring flaws. With this. I know it's old, but you'd you think they'd be able to fix the reward, uh, paint job. The there we go. <laughs> oh, yes. Oh, got a brand new paint job with, like, a, a tiger with a crown of thorns on it or something. I don't know. I'm not really I'm not really into the digging the style of some of these cars, but it is, like, 2009, so you have to forgive it. People thought that shit was cool. All right, so let's get back, back to the what is the nearest garage? I guess that one on the map is probably going to be the closest one. So we'll head that way and see. I also, I also um, that really flat car. I forget what it was called. It sounded Italian. That uh, was released upon the streets of Paradise City in the last episode. I actually did crash right before I started recording. I almost did it by accident because I like saw it and I was like, oh, what's that? And then I turned and crashed it because it was literally that easy. So yeah, we'll have to take a look at that thing too. It's probably pretty good at races, but it's probably the weakest car in the history of, uh, of Burnout. Minus, I know there is like an indie car in this game that's probably going to be a little bit weaker. But yeah, it should be pretty damn awesome to mess around with. Alright, where is this thing? Oh, shit. Okay. There we go. Alright, I'm kind of excited for this, guys. Oh god, I missed it, of course. Got a little bit too excited. Anyway, here we go. So, let's see it. Is it going to be wrecked? Or is it going to be fine? Because like... If I'm just getting the upgraded version, it should be brand new, right? I don't know. Anyway, here it is. And it's fucked up. All right, that's cool with me. It just adds a little bit more character to it. But yeah, that other thing looks pretty legit. It should be pretty damn good at Road Rage. All right, here it is. The Rosalini MLM Classic. Oh my god. <laughs> Look how flat that bitch is. That looks like a lot of fun to drive, though. But uh, I think at first I'm actually going to do a Road Rage or two with the good old Reliable just to kind of test out the uh, new version of it. So here we go. Yeah, look at that. It's I think it's the only difference is it's a little bit faster and a little bit better at boosting. But it's still it's still better looking, so I'm going to go ahead and stick with this one. And uh, is there any Road Rages around? I'm not really sure, but um, I'm sure we can find one. Oh, yeah, it is a tiger on the back, like literally the face of a tiger. And then just a weird kind of, I don't know, just sprayed on tiger in the front. But yeah, that's pretty cool. Um, I mean, it's not my favorite paint job I've ever seen on a custom in this game. But, you know, it'll work. It'll work for sure. Alrighty, so I think there is a road rage up here. I could be wrong. I don't know, that brown, that like brown dot usually indicates that there is a road rage. I want to test this beast. I almost don't want to wreck the paint job. Oh, shit. We did any. Oh, no, it didn't take any damage. 
Yeah, I almost don't want to wreck the paint job on this bitch, but you know, we got to test it out for science. So is this a road rage? Oh, no, that's a takedown or that's a takedown 4x4 burning route. Do I even have that car? Is that like the big fat one? I don't even know what car that is. Anyway, the search continues. All right, so we finally found a road rage. It took quite a bit of searching, but we na we finally have one. I guess I kind of did most of them on this kind of rotation. So yeah, I guess that says I'm doing pretty good. How about you eat the fucking wall? Whoa, what happened? Whoa, that was weird. <laughs> I could have sworn I just saw myself die, guys. Am I, am I hallucinating or something? Please tell me you saw that. That was like super weird. But yeah, we're already doing pretty damn good. How many do we need? Six? Oh, that should be real easy for this thing, especially considering we're pretty much the biggest car out here. Oh, the only one I think that might be a little bit bigger. Oh, shit. Got a car takedown. Anyway, the only thing I think might be a little bit bigger is the the giant, like the, the big fan, like van that you can drive in this game. Uh, it's like kind of like a, not a pedo van, like an astro van kind of thing. But yeah, those are pretty big. But oh, oh, that guy didn't make it. <laughs> oh, fucking jack off. You didn't have enough speed. It's something you need, especially when you're trying to, I don't know, jump a bridge. That might be something you would think about having. Anyway, we already got the target achieved. So after this is pretty, oh shit. Oh shit. Yeah, this is pretty much just all fun from here, guys. Or we'll watch us crash and die and only get, you know, six and nothing. We don't go past the, we don't overachieve, but I think I'm going to try to. Might as well. Oh, there we go. Yeah, those, those like SUV things are super easy to crash for some reason. They're like ginormous. You'd think they'd be harder to crash than that. But yeah, there we go. Oh, GTR into the parked car. Oh, that never gets old. And boom, eat shit. There you go. See, I like barely hit that guy. He just swore. Oh, shit. Oh, okay. <laughs> that guy took, took the big hit from the crossfire there. I actually got really lucky. That would have been me. To be completely honest, if I would have just been one second faster, that guy wasn't there. There we go. Oh, shit. Oh, I didn't get two for that. I could have sworn that if he crashed a guy into the wall and then, like, somebody else hit him after he crashed, they usually they usually end up crashing as well. I guess not. Oh, there we go. Oh, shit. Oh, that, one, that time it worked. Okay, well, I guess it just depends on how fast they're going, really. I kind of like that paint job on that. What's the name of that car? I don't even know what car this is. I kind of like the paint job on it. It's like an old Dodge Charger kind of mixed. It looks like a Charger mixed with a Camaro, which is blasphemy, but in burnout, it doesn't matter. All right, so boom! Eat shit. Oh, what? Didn't crash. Come on. There you go. All right, so we're doing pretty damn good. Uh, we only got like 48 seconds left, though. So, ooh. Nine in a row. <laughs> Not bad at all. Oh, yes. All right, keep it going, keep it going, keep it. Whoa, shit. Okay, this is super dangerous. Oh, oh. <laughs> it seems like the GTRs are getting the worst crashes. Like they're just getting absolutely evis eviscerated, which, you know, kind of hurts to see, but you know, I don't care at the same time. There we go, bus takedown. That should be worth some extra brownie points. Oh, shit. Like the signature takedowns are still here, but they're not as—they're not presented as cool as they were in Burnout Revenge. You got an entire like trophy for like cool takedowns you would get in uh, Burnout Revenge, but here, they're just kind of like, yeah, you got this takedown, big whoop. Who gives a shit? Boom! Time's up. There we go. One, one more. There we go. I actually like, kind of like that SUV in that white color. But yeah, there we go. We uh, we needed six. We got twenty. So I would say that's not too bad at all. Not too shabby. All right, so I think we should do one more kind of road rage type event and then we should go see that new car that we got because it looks pretty damn fast and we haven't done a race in a while. So I don't see any reasons why we shouldn't drive it. All right, first let's go ahead and fix this old girl up because she isn't looking too good. There we go. All right, now we can make our way back and I think there is a road rage right down the road here. Yes, okay. So the dark brown ones are the red, whatever that, burgundy are the road rages, and the light brown ones are the burning roots. It took me a while to realize that. I was just looking for every brown thing I could find, and they were not ending up being uh, road rages. Here we go, though. So, god damn it, this thing takes forever to slow down. Jesus. <laughs> Brakes are awful. So we only need one more, so really this should still be pretty damn easy to get the win here. So yeah, where is everybody? 
Eat my tiger, bitches. Oh, boom. Oh, is that a double? Oh, shit. Damn it. Should have been, though. All right, come here. There he is. I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna get you still. Boom! Oh, what? I didn't get anybody in that kerfuffle. Are you shitting me? Come on. Get somebody. Get somebody. Come on. What the hell? Oh, shit. There we go. Finally. Jesus. Took long enough. There's another. Okay, now they're just gonna start coming super quick. I got this now. That red guy got away, though. That still kind of pisses me off. And boop. There you go. Oh, beautiful. We're starting to see kind of new view. Oh, we're grinding. No. <laughs> what the hell was that? Do I get bonus points for that? Oh, we lost our tailgate with the, the tiger on it. That was like my favorite feature of this car, and it's now soiled. Just sitting on the road somewhere. Oh, well. Holy shit. Oh, my God. So many crashes over the span of like two seconds. That was awesome looking, though. Oh, uh, and also, what happened to the explosions? Like, because you can't really explode. Like, there's like little tiny explosions in this game when you're doing the crash mode. But like, when you're actually like, there's no button to do it. I, I, I don't know. It just seems like it would have been cool. I guess they had to do that to keep the uh, E rating, maybe. I don't know. But it, it just would be cool. If you could just like blow your car up at any second and just kind of take out everybody around you, kind of like a nuke. That'd be so awesome. Holy shit! I think I just got a two for. Hell yes. All right, so we're already way past the goal here. They don't really start to get hard until you get later on in the game. But yeah, for right now, it's super fucking easy. Whoa, shit, crash, goddammit. It's, it's like some of them are super easy to take down, and then some are like real bastards about it. What the fuck? That guy didn't even look like he crashed, really. Oh, GTR, come here, boy. Come on. <laughs> Bastards crash, why don't you? Uh, okay. Got you. I got you. There you go. No, he still didn't crash. God damn it. Okay, you fucking die. Come here. Somebody. Ugh, come on. There you go. Finally. Okay, maybe this truck, when we like flash, like bedazzled it up, it didn't make it any stronger. It just made it nicer looking. If that's the case, that, that sucks, man. You'd think that. If you upgraded the car, it would become a little bit stronger. It's It seems like it... Oh! <laughs> it seems like it's actually harder to turn. And I didn't get the uh, the uh, aftertouch takedown for that. Oh, yeah, that's something they kind of took out as well as, like, the aftertouch. At least during the races, you can't do it. But you can still do it in crash mode because, like, the entirety of the crash mode is aftertouch. But, yeah, you can't do it in the races, which kind of sucks. But, you know, open world and such, they kind of had to kind of make it like that, I guess. I don't know. Anyway, we're already almost to 20 again. Ooh, there we go. I want to see if I can beat 20. Because I think that might be my record as of today. So there's 19. Come on, 20. Boom, there you go. All right, so let's get a new one. We got a frenzy going. Oh, come on. There you go, beautiful. 21. Can we get 22? Yes, sweet. Eat shit, okay. 23? Come on, come on, come here, come here, big boy. Oh, boom, oh shit, oh god. Come on, somebody crashed, there we go, yes. All right, so it'll be in on 22. Not bad at all, three times more than what we were supposed to get, so <laughs> I'm pretty happy with that to say the least. All right, so we only need two wins to actually upgrade our license again to a B license. And oh, the Hunter Manhattan, so an old classic. Oh, that looks really nice. So that's entered the city, so we'll keep an eye out for that. But for now, I think we're going to go drive to the nearest uh, garage and get that Rosa, whatever the fuck it was, something leany, something Italian, the, the, a.k.a. the flat car, and we'll see how she drives. She looks like she's going to be pretty damn fast, so I'm pretty excited. But yeah, definitely going to be hard to keep that thing from staying on the road because it looks like, it, it, like you hit a rock in the road, you're going to go flying off and explode into a million pieces, but you never know. We'll go, well, so, okay, so we'll, uh, I'll talk to you guys when we get there, I guess. Oh, I think I see it. Oh, there it is already. Okay, that was quick. All right, come here. Come here. Boom. Come on, eat shit. There we go. Yes. Oh, beautiful. The Hunter Manhattan. Oh, that looks like it's going to be a lot of fun. And we're right next to the fucking, uh, the junkyard as well. We missed the turn. That's okay, though. But, yeah. 
So yeah, we have that to play with. We'll do one race with the uh, with this whatever the Italian car, and then we'll go back for the Hunter, just so we can try them both out in this episode. Should be pretty fun, guys. Okay, here it is though. That pink old what was it called a Hunter? Yeah, the Hunter Manhattan. So very classic looking car. Looks like it's in rough shape. What kind of class of car is that? Like an aggression style car? Because I know it's an old car. It's probably pretty uh pretty hefty. But, um, let's see here. Uh, no, it's a stunt class car. Okay, didn't really expect that, but whatever. And then we have the speed class car. So, yeah, this thing is going to be pretty damn quick. So, I think we should do a race with it. Oh, this thing is going to be crazy, isn't it? Let's start it up. Oh, yeah, listen to that. It sounds like kind of like a Ferrari. Or maybe, maybe a Lambo. I don't know what kind of car this is supposed to be based off, but it does look very familiar. So if you guys can kind of tell what kind of car this is supposed to be, let me know down in the comments. And if you guys are liking this Burnout series, let me know in the comments as well. And leave a like. Uh, it really shows that you enjoy the series and want to see it continue. Now, here we go. We got the fixed car. So where is the nearest race that we haven't completed? I guess it's this way. Because it's, we have, that one has a check mark, so I guess we'll go this way. Oh, look how slick this thing is, man. It, it looks like the most aerodynamic thing I've ever seen. It looks like if you go fast enough, it'll just kind of flip in the air. Anyway, here we go. So I think this should be pretty damn easy considering what car we're driving. Unless somebody else has like a other insanely fast car. But yeah, we're actually going to get to let this horse gallop because this is basically in a straight line here. And it almost looks like we're, we're uh, racing exclusively kind of classic supercars here. Holy shit, this thing is fast. Oh my god. Yeah, this thing is quick. Okay, guys. I'm, I'm kind of scared because uh, I feel like if I mess up once, we're going to go into the wall, which we will be. Oh, there we go. That was risky. We got the boost, though. All right, here we go. Let's drive very, very carefully. And we'll be okay. Take a shortcut. Why the fuck not? Okay. I don't think anybody else took that shortcut. How about another? Oh, yes. I mean... We're already pretty far ahead, but you know, it's, it's just fun to take shortcuts every once in a while. There we go. There we go. Can we get like a burnout for that? Yes! Sweet! All right. Oh god, we're on the wrong side of the road. We gotta be careful! Be very, very careful. Very, very careful! I think I feel like if we barely tap something, we're gonna crash. But yeah, it doesn't look like that's gonna happen. We're gonna easily win this one! Oh yes, there we go. Beautiful! Alright, so I think we only need one more race to level up. Well, we're moving right along, guys. We I don't even know how long this series is going to be at this point. But yeah, we only need one more race. So I think we're going to go back to the junkyard and try out that Hunter uh, Manhattan. It just looks so cool. I got to try it out before this video is over. Oh, boo! <laughs> yep, this thing is pretty easy to crash. I kind of just... Sw side swipe that car, but it still crashed us. But yeah, anyway, um, we're almost to the junkyard now, so I'm, I actually, I'm wondering why that big old fucking a classic car is like registered as a stunt car. You wouldn't think that it would be very agile, but I guess apparently it is. So anyway, let's go ahead and get it out and repair it and uh, try to find. I mean, we could do a race or we could do like a stunt trial thing. I'm not really good at them, but if this thing is meant for it, I guess it would make sense that we would do that. Oh, this thing is really pink. Holy shit! <laughs> Look how pink this damn thing is. Oh man, I don't think I, I don't think I want to change the color of, of it though, just because I don't know. It's just it just adds character to this car, and I think it looks. I don't think it looks bad to be honest. All right, so actually, I kind of want to do a marked man with this. Yeah, why the hell not? Why? I mean. It looks like it, it was pretty tough anyways. I mean, it might be a stunt class car, but that doesn't mean it can't be, it can be bad at, uh, at surviving stuff like this. So I think we're going to be A-OK. -okay. I think, um, this car is still pretty heavy, so we should have no problems knocking these guys out of the way. Oh, God, the handling on this thing is not too great, though. Just right off the bat. Hello, guys. Nice to see you. Oh, shit. Jesus, can you take it a little bit easy on me? Fucking hell. Alright, so I'm just gonna try to... Ugh! There we go! I think I got that guy. It doesn't show when they crash on this mode, but I'm pretty sure I still got that guy. I saw him go flying into the ether. So, boom! Get off my shit, bitch! Hell yeah, classic classic car still can kick ass, that is for sure. No, I was gonna take that shortcut. 
That's what you get. Holy shit, he came back with a vengeance. All right, can you guys make this jump? Ooh! Nope, one of them didn't. <laughs> he went into the fucking river. Serves you right, you bitch. All right, did we, did we miss a turn or something? Uh, I don't think so. I think we're still going to be okay, though. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we definitely missed a turn. But who cares? That's It's just the fun of the game is when you miss the turn sometimes, so... Oh! Oh, oh, okay, okay. Were well, we supposed to take that turn? It gave me no warning if I was supposed to. I think I did this on the last time I did this specific route. I think we made the wrong turn there. But I think it's going to be okay. We still have our health for the most part. We just got a little cosmetic damage. Nothing to worry about. Thank you for crashing. You kind of pointed me going the right way there. All right, there's the end. Yeah, you guys suck at taking me down. You had so many cars and you still couldn't take me down. I didn't even crash once. I mean, come on, dudes. Even trying here, but there we go. We upgraded to our B license, right? It's a B license. The Clash B driver's license. Yes. Oh, look at that. We get color now. Some way to go to be one of burnout's best. Holy shit. We need 26 wins to upgrade those. So that's basically starting to get to all of these things. Whoa, look at that. The Carson fastback. That thing looks mean. It looks like it just came out like out of Fallout or something or Mad Max. Damn, that's pretty awesome. And we're going to check that car out in the next episode. But for now, I think we're going to end this here. We made a lot of progress. We upgraded our license and we got like three new cars. Uh, maybe four if we, uh, if we count that fastback we just got. But yeah, guys, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll talk to you guys in the next episode. See ya!